Hey Pax and Ivy students, it's Miss Culpepper here. Just wanted to put this webcast out because I have had a lot of students to come because they are unsure or forgot how to post their cast activities on Manage Back. So I figured I'd do this little video <clears throat> and hopefully kind of guide you through what you, the steps are that you need in order to make sure that you're doing everything to have your cast activities marked as complete. So this is where you would go, this website up here, to log on to Manage Back, and it can be accessed off of the school website in the IB section, or you can also access it on the Paxson IB page, which is paxsass-ib.weebly.com, and that's also on the school website. So I'm going to log in here under my fake student that I created so that I can show you what you need to do. Um, what I want to mention also, make sure that you're keeping an eye on this weekly calendar here because I've been putting a lot of things as far as college visits and when things are due for me or important dates like the PSAT. So make sure that you're checking that. What you're going to do is you're going to click on DP Manager, and it will take you to this page, and you just simply select CAS. Then on this page, if you haven't added any CAS activities, you'll see this. There's a little video about CAS, and then they actually list some ideas here for CAS and tell you the steps. One, you're going to add your CAS activity, complete your reflections, and then request a supervisor review. But I'm going to show you how to do all that right now. So in order to add a cast activity, you click here on the right-hand side, Add Cast Activity. And you have to give your activity a name. So let's say um, I'm going. my activity is I'm going to be volunteering at um, James Weldon Johnson across the street because they're going to be putting on a play for our Women's History Month, which is in March. So my title of my activity maybe um, James Weldon Johnson Women's History Month play. Yes, this is a cast project. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to do this. Um, maybe I'm going to volunteer about 10 hours or so. So let's say um, with this activity, it can count for either creative or service or a combination of both. So let's say if I'm going to do 10 hours, I'm going to count three of those hours as creative and I'm going to do seven for service. Now, when it comes to your hours, what you might want to do is decide where you need more hours. So this is an activity that can count for either um, Maybe I need more service hours, so maybe I want to count all 10 as service. Or maybe I need more creative hours, so I'm going to count all 10 as creative. So you have some flexibility here with how you document that. Then this location is going to be out of school, so I click that. And my date range, this isn't going to be until we're going to be preparing in February for the play to happen in March. So let's say it's going to start February 11th, and then... I'm going to finish approximately uh, March 1st. Again, I can always come back and modify some of this. Now I have to list who my supervisor is going to be. So let's just say my supervisor is going to be Miss Dana Thomas. And her email is thomasd at duvalschools.com. Dot org. It's extremely important that you have an email entered here because that's how the supervisor review is going to get to that person. Um, contact number. Um, let's just enter something in here. And then this is where I have to describe what I'm doing and what my goals are. So let's make up a description for this. I'm going to be helping students to prepare for a play for Women's History Month. So um, let's see what we can type. Assist students 
in the drama club. With preparing, practicing, and performing a play for Women's History Month. Okay. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. My goal is I might... I think I might want to go into education, so this is going to help me be able to learn how to work with students. So I'm going to put that here as part of my goal. So I put, I would love to go into the field of education, and I think that working with children will give me experience needed, give me the experience needed before making that decision. Simple enough. Now I have to select which of the eight learning outcomes this particular activity is going to meet. It needs to meet at least one of these eight learning outcomes, and through the course of your CAS um, program, you have to make sure that you touch on all eight of these. So this is going to be a new challenge for me because I've never done this. I'm going to help plan and init initiate activities. I'm going to be working collaboratively with others. Um, and let's say, um, since this is a new challenge, I'm developing a new skill, seeing if I can teach. And you simply click Add CAS Activity. And there goes your activity on your CAS worksheet. Now, if you need to edit any of this stuff, what you're going to do is you click into the activity and you just click edit activity and it'll take you back to the screen and you can change anything that needs to be changed. So nothing needs to be changed. Um, once you click into the activity, how you start documenting it is the reflections tab. You need to make sure that you are adding reflections for each of your activities. And this can be done a number of creative ways. You can add a journal entry, and let's say I have a journal entry for my first day there, and I click which outcomes I worked on during that particular time, or maybe I have a website, or I made a YouTube video, or photos, or different files I want to attach, maybe a, pro a scanned copy of the program from the actual play. Um, you need to have a variety of reflections and just know that they don't all have to be the same thing. You can have a bunch of pictures if you want or you can have a bunch of journals, but you can be creative in how you add the reflections. Then after you have all of your reflections added and you have completed the activity, you click Cast Questions. Now I know down here it says, um, submit reflections or cast questions, don't pay attention to that because here at Paxson we are requiring that you have both reflections and your cast questions answered. So you would click on the cast questions and then you go through and you answer each of these questions. And remember, um, it doesn't have to have been perfect. You can put in here if things didn't work out exactly the best way that you thought that they should have. But you need to make sure that in addition to your, your reflections, you answer all of these cast questions. Then after you have completed the cast questions, that is when you click over here on the side, Request Supervisory Review. And once you click Request Supervisory Review, it's going to send a supervisor, a review for your supervisor to complete, stating basically that you've done the activity that you have listed and um, having them to explain how you did. And once your supervisory review has been completed, that's when your activity gets marked as complete. Now prior to that, what I see on my screen when I log in is I see the activity you have listed and it'll say needs approval. Even if it has not been approved um, physically by me, you still do the activity because it should be something that you would have wanted to do anyway. But I will go in 
and I'll make a little check mark there and then you'll see a red check mark that says that it's been approved okay this is your legend here so whatever picture you see that tells you what stage your cast project is in whether it's been approved if your review has been sent if it's marked complete and so on so hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to log your cast activities um, once you come in here in your worksheet you can view it a couple of different ways you can see the timeline um, you can show it by hours so you can kind of see how many hours under each category you have and the progress of your cast program if you let's see if you click this view you can see which outcomes you've met so I already have one activity right now that has these four outcomes. I know that I need to be working towards covering these at least once that don't have anything by it. So um, if you ever need to send me a note, you can write a note down here to me or you can come by my office and we'll go over some things. But hopefully this little presentation has helped you to understand better about how to document your CAS activities.